So the chargers look like either one of this. You can see we've got two of these where it says Tesla and CCS compatible. And we can see we have the CCS here and we have a Chatamo with a big old Tesla converter on it, which makes sense. It's a pretty good way to do it. Now, I was hoping to come and charge today, but our Ionic 5 is actually at like 75%, so I expect it's gonna be pretty boring. The other two are like this, where it says CCS and Chatamo, and you don't have the, uh, the big Tesla converter thing on it, which, you know, totally makes sense. So basically you can charge two Teslas and a couple of other things. Maybe four Teslas? Yeah, it looks like these can charge two each. This site advertises itself as having eight chargers, so that would make sense. Anyhow, let's come over here and try one of these Tesla and CCS ones. I have my keys on me. Yes. Here, like, must have locked the car. There we go. Still love that. Had this thing for a couple of weeks and I still, still love it. All right, so it wants me to tap my RFID card, which I actually did bring. Is it down here, I guess? Or is it, no, it's probably this guy. Yeah, it was that guy. All right, cool. Payment authorized. Good. So now it wants to plug in the vehicle, so let's do that. Sorry, I'm all one-handed here. I will eventually get a tripod. If I'm gonna keep doing this. Alright, nice and snug in there. It says initiating. Now, like I say, we're over 70%, so I don't expect this to be like a super interesting charge curve. Maybe I'll come back and try to come back with like a zero battery, 2% battery, and see what we can do. But I think these are supposed to be 150s. So there we go. Yeah, you know, given that we're at 80%, 36 isn't bad. 